uh, in this video, we're giving the second examples of uh, uh, the use of trapezoidal rule uh, in approximate or estimate the value of an integral, right? As if you know integration very well, this integral, integral can be using integration by parts. Means, you op you, if you by using a technique from integration, uh, means is which is not numerical method this is a numerical method uh, to approach the uh, to using to approximate this value okay uh, which is a uh, approximate value right it's not the exact value but if you using the integration by parts x square integrate x you know x square or to right integrate ln x you were getting uh, you, you you need integration by parts for these cases here so the value that you get by using technique of integration by parts uh, the normal integration methods so you were getting the exact value here. Uh, so if you're interested, you try to do it and you compare with the one that you, you're using trapezoidal rule. In this video particularly, I just teach you how to using trapezoidal rule. Use the trapezoidal rule, right? With five interval. Uh, this case here, we have five intervals. Uh, so to estimate the values of this, correct to three decimal places here okay let's go one by one so the approach here very very, very easy they ask they already tell you clearly that you have to use trapezoidal rule so trapezoidal rule is generate or derived to be integrate fx dx which is approximately so i just write equal so as you know in your mind this is an approximate value it's not the exact value all right okay the formula will be 1 over 2 h or 1 over 2 h or h over 2 okay 1 over 2 h uh, so remember the first value and the last value here okay the last value of y you don't need to multiply by 2 okay why i have derived for you okay i have derived for you what about this formula right uh, how this formula is derived why this is not multiplied by 2 but this is multiplied by 2 so please refer to the video so that you have better understanding of the concept of trapezoidal rule so y2 y3 and so on uh, so as many as you can if you want so if the one okay until the one that before the last value right uh, so we have to multiply with 2 here uh, so in order to, to help us with this we have to uh, usually, I will ask my student to construct a, uh, a table, table of value here. So let's see how uh, finding the value here. So as the question asking the trapezoidal rule with five interval. So what does it mean by five interval? Ah, five interval. So it means that from uh, one to four. Now it's from one to four, right? The A to B. So it means from one to four. So you have to build with five interval here. So one interval. 2 interval, 3, 4, 5. So, okay, let's say 4, you end up to be here, right? Uh, so, you have 5 interval, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Which is 5 interval. The meaning of 5 interval is we have 5 equally spaced here between 1 to 4. So, then we have how many ordinates? Uh, so, I have to uh, tell you again. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six ordinates. Uh, so when they use the word six ordinates, means five interval here. But this question is very direct. They tell you five interval. So one to four. So how to find the length of each? The length of each is the h, All right? Uh, the h. So the formula for h is b minus a over with n, right? So what is your b? So your b in this case, uh, your a in this case, from A to B, A is 1, B is 4, so it's from 1 up to 4. So then you have to take the value of 4 minus 1 divided by the number of interval here. The N here will be 5. Uh, this means N to be 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So understand the question clearly, then you will get uh, to use uh, with trapezoidal rule. So 3 over 5, which is 0 point, uh, 0 0.6, right? Uh, 0 0.6, 3 over 5, right? So here you have uh, 
1.6 plus with 0 0.6, uh, you will have 2.2, right? You will have 2.2, followed by plus with 0 0.6, you will have 2.8, right? 2.8, and you have 3.2 here, okay? Uh, you have 3.2 here, sorry, uh, yes, uh, plus 0 0.6, 1.6 plus 6 uh, so and plus 6 you have uh, 8 so here you will have 3.4 sorry you will have 3.4 right and you add 0 0.6 you are getting 4 right uh, so this is the 6 ordinate 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay uh, so each of the interval here the length is 0 0.6 all right so we have already known the value of h, uh, so each of the ordinate. So uh, it is always encouraged, okay? It's not compulsory, but it's always encouraged you to construct a table and enjoy with filling the number in the table, right? So uh, in this case here, we have how many value here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So we just make here to be seven row, Six value, seven row, one, two, uh, okay, let's make this one smaller as this is just the x value, okay, your x value, so your xi, okay, uh, your xi, so your x1, x2, x1, x2, uh, x3, x4, x5, okay, x6, right, Okay, x6 and we have another one for total, right? For total value here. So it means that uh, we need to divide them into two, which your y1 or our yi or we can say your fx, all right? Your, or your fx, which is x plus ln x, okay? x plus width ln x here. So all the value here will be the one that written that 1.6, 2.2, 2.8, 3.4, and 4.0, 4, right? So this will be your y1, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6. Uh, the first and the last, right? The first and the last value, okay? The first and the last value, the middle value here. So, okay, now we have to find all this value. So I'm going to teach you again by using calculator. All right, okay, this is the second video of uh, Newton um, trapezoidal rule. It uh, means approximate and inter the value of an integral. Uh, by uh, by using trapezoidal rule. So very simple. So again, I'm going to show you how to using calculator, right? Uh, so, okay. As you need to know that how to using this calculator. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to use the latest version of this calculator, which is FX570EX. Uh, so, okay, just pressing menu. So you pressing the button, going down, go for the nine, Okay, the one with two column. So we're choosing table nine, right? So we have fx here. So fx, uh, this will be your fx, okay? This will be your fx. Uh, so x plus ln x. Hmm. So you just key in alphabet x, All right? Sorry, alphabet x plus ln alphabet x right okay you have key in then pressing the button equal right uh, so for gx you just ignore it you're just pressing equal so then they go to start and and step so if i in the previous video okay i have already explained this will be your start start and this will be n right n and the step is the value of h uh, the value of h in this question will be 0 0.6, right? Uh, 1 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.6. So this will be your step. Uh, this is in calculator language. Okay. So, okay. Now we have all this. We just key in one by one. 
so make sure you key in correctly so your start is uh, one okay pressing equal oh sorry so uh okay let's go again so pressing equal equal so we have start okay start we key in one right one and follow by pressing equal we follow by n okay pressing four okay and pressing equal so going down so your step you key in uh, 0 0.6 okay uh, 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 so you have everything okay so you're pressing equal then equal again then you will have all the value here right uh, you will have all the value here so just fill up all the value in the uh, table as for the first one we have to fill in here right uh, so as for the first one for more accurate we're going for this column the value of y here we have one okay the first one is one because you see if you substitute one one plus ln one ln one is zero so you have one right so 1.6 you have to use the cup for the value here so you press it from here is 2.07 right so just keen going up uh, for two point for more decimal places here as this question require for three decimal places right they require for three decimal places here so we're giving uh, extra four decimal or five decimal all my video i will giving extra two decimal three decimal i giving five decimal for more accuracy here so which will be uh, as the second value will be the middle value so 2.07 uh, 0 I will give 5 decimal 0, 07 right in this case okay 5 decimal will be 0, 7, 0, 0, 0. so 2.070 uh, so we're going down again so 2.98846 we're giving 5 decimal right 2.98846 uh, so moving down again so 3.382 and going down again so we have 4.623 right six two three seven eight so then we go for the last value which is uh four right four so the last value i will feel feeling feeling up here so which will be uh five point three eight five point three eight six two nine right so now i have completely filled in my table by using this calculator in helping me so now what is the total right you have to total up y1 and y6 here to getting the total and all this are getting the total all right okay i have already summed up so 1 plus 5.38 i were getting this and for this middle value here all i were getting from y2 up to y5 i were getting this value so let's see how to using this table in uh, approximate the integral all right so I have already filled in all the table by using calculator which is I already show you just now how to get the value here so uh, okay now I have all the value here I have the total here so you must remember uh, how to using that formula okay so for here this formula integrate for this will be the same as this from 1 up to 4 uh, x plus ln x dx can be approximate uh, by half right just follow exactly the formula 102 h uh, your h is 0 0.6 right for this case your h is 0 0.6 uh, so and try to look at the formula the first value and the last value the total the total of the first and the last value the first of the total of the first and the last value which is already calculated right uh, so i just put this value by using the value here from the table which is 0, uh, 6.38629 uh, plus with two times uh, two times the middle value the sum of the middle value here uh, the middle value here so which is 13.5 uh, 13 point, 13 point 
it's 6. Right? Uh, I have already plugged all the value into the formula. Now it's just calculate. Alright, after calculated, okay, this is an approximate value. Okay, I calculated, I have 5 decimal uh, places, right? So I have to uh, round off into 3 decimal places here. So this is the value, the approximate value. I always use the word approximate value in this case here because this is not the actual value, the exact value for this. As we're using trapezium rule to approximate. So it's 10.023. So how to know that your value is less than the exact value or more than the exact value? First, you can using integration by parts. I have already suggested in the early of the video you're doing and you get the exact value here. Or if you're lazy, you can actually using this calculator. Uh, you can apply technology, right? So then, okay, integrate from uh, 1 up to 4. So just key in so just key in x, uh, just key in alphabet x plus with ln x. Wow, the part, the technology was so advanced, right? Uh, just by keying this, this is so long, right? Uh, this is so long. So doesn't matter, right? This is how we appreciate mathematics, okay? Uh, this is how it's come. This thing maybe is programmed into this calculator, right? Uh, this is. We sometimes we call numerical method as a computer method in university. Kaeda per computer run. Eh? So, okay, let's look at this. Uh, then we equal. Uh, I get the exact value to be 10.045, which is more than this value here. Means that the approximate value is less than the exact value here. Uh, why this is ha happen? Why this has happened? So there is a study of uh, error, right? The error, a systematic error. The error that study between why trapezoidal rule is lesser than the exact value here. Uh, how and how to improve this so that you will get an exact value here. So I tell you the clue here. How to get the x? How to get this value even closer to this value here? Right, you, 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 I think this is a knowledge I need to tell you. So from this, you want to get this exact value, means it's more accurate, the one that with more accurate, we have to add up more interval. Uh, this is the clue, this is the technique, this is a secret. So if you add six interval, if you are free, if you are maths lover, you can try with six interval 100 interval by using microsoft excel okay uh, you can using uh, 10 interval even you can see the difference when you use 8 interval and 10 interval the value here we're getting near to 10.045 uh, so means the number of interval will increase the accuracy of the answer here all right uh, so this is another knowledge for you i hope you understand so as Okay, as followed by this question, which is requested five interval, and this is the approximate value. Alright, okay, see you for the next example.